my ideas asking you and a few other people it's like about art and the nature of reality <laughs> I think you better check out the neighbors for that shit eh? <laughs> none of those guys think I know what I'm talking about I kind of wonder what they're, they're, art they're talking about well you see that's that's the trade off isn't it that's uh See, what I think art is, if, if I can have a little uh, editorial space to wiggle, is I think art is anything the artist calls art. It's corny, but if I say it's art, um, then that's because I think it is. So what about an artist? If an ar if artist, whatever you call it, can someone be um, an arms dealer or working in Wall Street and consider themselves an artist, like you know, working with economic realities, for example. I, I I suspect it has to do with how much money they make, and if they make a fuck of a lot of money, I think they think they're artists, no matter what. I think that's what they actually use as a tool to measure any level of success. Would you consider them an artist? Uh, because they can sure, them, yeah. Why not? But what difference? Is, what good is it? You know, it's like an, an, an art in the black arts in the black discipline is still still performing artfully. Like I don't think the artist intends to be an asshole. He'd be an asshole, right? The artist intends to make some kind of communicative effort that doesn't. Number one, it has to doesn't hurt somebody or something. Or if it does, maybe it has to do it in a way that is to try to bring that subject to the eyes and the minds of, of the beholder. Or it can do a thousand tricks with that, but what I'm trying to say is the attitude that you go in, like, I'm going to make toad rock. I'm trying to make toad rock that's kind of good toad rock. It might not, might not be bad, it might be a bad toad rock. But the thing is that if your intention is to give something into life i think there's a place where that can be pure i think that's where you can have some purity i'm seeing a different reality coming at us pretty fast coming at us who being us all humans or canadians or americans or westerners or everything that is eking out of living on this planet is going to have to shift somehow because the patterns of greed and gluttony and uh, privilege are everyone grinding big sections, the big fac factions of our process to a halt. So how do we inspire each other? How do we, how do we live with childlike awe and abandon? Or how do we, how do we live without it? Is more my question. Well, I don't think we do. That's what we're talking about. People being the walking dead, like a bunch of zombies going through life, uh, being uh, led around by the nose by the media and uh, TV and, and those jobs, you know. So how, how do we change that? How do we, how do we take it back? How do we like all just be alive and live? That's a good question. Because, you know, I never knew an artist, I never knew a child that wasn't an artist, and I taught a lot of kids art. When, I mean, you don't teach kids art, you just give them the materials, tell them a little story or something to inspire them and stand back, you know. And uh, they're so spontaneous with their creativity. 